Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. So today is part three of my Best of Beauty 2016. This is going to be complexion products. Now complexion is not one of like the most exciting things to me, so I don't have as many products in this category as I did in some of the other ones. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I wanna talk about is actually a more recent discovery that I have just been loving over the last three months or so, and that is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. It's infused with coconut water, so it definitely has these moisturizing properties which really look beautiful on the skin they calm the skin if you have redness and stuff I think that this is a really good product for you that's what I have I have redness I have rosacea I have sensitive skin and this has been a wonderful like life-saving foundation you can build it up to a pretty full coverage it's generally I would say more of a medium cover light to medium coverage foundation but if you do like two pumps of this you can get a pretty full coverage it really does look like your natural born this way kind of skin so absolutely love this and I will be repurchasing it when I run out. Next product that I loved in 2016 was my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. This is actually my third bottle. This is something that I really like to use in the spring and summer. It has um, broad spectrum SPF. It's a tint tinted hydrating gel cream. It's a very light lightweight kind of natural glowy sort of formula. It'll give you a dewy finish. It's not going to give you a full coverage. I would say it's a light to medium coverage at the most. Um, it's generally more of a light coverage. So when I don't want to have a lot of makeup on my face, this is what I like to wear. If I want a more full coverage, I will combine this with a foundation powder and that works beautifully. Okay, and then I have two concealers. The first one I've talked about a few times and that is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is my favorite concealer this year. I love it because it smells really good. It smell, it has that coconut water again, so it's very hydrating and cooling for under the eyes. It's just got those skin loving ingredients, which I love and it goes on beautifully. It really makes the under eye area brighter and it's very, very lightweight, so it doesn't like ever get cakey or anything like that and I'm more of a medium light to medium coverage type of gal so I really really like this concealer it does need to be set with powder though if you want it to last all day the other concealer I love is the one that is like all of the beauty gurus favorites and that is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have the shade Fair, which is actually quite a bit lighter than my Born This Way shade in Very Fair. <laughs> so as you can see, like the Tarte is much lighter. They have a better shade range in this but it is a very full coverage concealer. It's fantastic. It doesn't feel cakey. It's still lightweight. It looks, you know, it looks beautiful under the eye, but it is a little bit more matte than the Too Faced one. So it kind of depends what you're going for, but I do really love this one, especially if I'm really tired, haven't had any sleep, and I have some darkness under my eye, then, eyes, then this is the one that I will go for. Okay, and then I have a couple of like setting powders that I discovered this year that I really love. The first one is from Too Faced and that is the Primed and Poreless Face Powder. <laughs> I've only had this for a couple months and like the gold is already falling. That's how much I use it. Like it just, it looks worn because it is. I use it all the time. As soon as I discovered it, you know, I just, I haven't been able to put it down. It's a beautiful setting powder. It really, it smooths out your skin. It really reduces the look of pores. It's fantastic. It makes your makeup last. Like, especially the under eye area. Like, when I wash my face at night, like, I don't really you know, wash too carefully underneath my eyes, but I have to when I'm using this with one of those concealers that I talked about because it really does stay put. So um, this is a fantastic setting powder and I will definitely be repurchasing it once I run out. I do have another setting powder that I just fell in love with this year and I've actually been using it longer. I'm surprised that it's last, lasted me as long as it has, that I'm not out of it yet because I did use it pretty much every day until I found this one. This one's a little bit more hydrating and with it being winter time, I like a more hydrating one. But in the summer and spring, this Bare Minerals Translucent Powder Duo was fantastic for me. 
And I do still use this for like setting my under eyes this time of year. This is the matte side that I just love. And then you also have the glow side, which is a very sheer, which gives you a very sheer uh, luminescence to your skin. It's similar to the hourglass powders, I think. It's not quite as soft, but it is close and it does kind of the same thing and it's a, got a much cheaper price tag. So definitely love this Bare Minerals Translucent Powder Duo in 2016. And I do have one more complexion product to show you and that is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is something that I got at the beginning of 2016. I use it almost every day and I still have this much left. Like, it's amazing how long that it lasts. And all it has is water and electrolytes. I don't know, but it's like this magic setting spray that really helps your makeup to last all day. It also smells really good and feels really refreshing. The sprayer, I'm going to go ahead and just show you the sprayer. I'm going to spray it on right now. Oh my gosh. It feels just so nice, oh, but it doesn't taste very good. <laughs> It feels so nice and refreshing on the skin and it really does help your makeup last longer. So this is definitely going to be a repurchase once I run out. Okay, so that is everything for complexion products. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know which products you've been loving over the last year and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.